Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Metroid Prime Remastered. Last time we left off, we were hanging out here on the surface of the planet now. Um, and... Ooh, hello! Hi! Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, no more fall. I forgot. Um, yeah, we're back to, we're back to baby Samus. Um, but yeah, last time we left off, we were hanging out here, and, uh, some... The first episodes aired now, and people have let me know a few things. So, I missed the Parasite Queen scan. Apparently, there was a tooltip telling me to scan the Parasite Queen, but I was so overwhelmed by everything going on that I totally, totally missed it. Um, apparently, I did get the other two missable scans that I could get, one being the Space Pirate data, and another being the um, little baby Parasite. So, if we uh, open the, memory, uh, the menu here, and go to my logbook. We can examine some of these things. So yeah, we got the fall of Zebes, and there we go. We got the parasite. So morphology parasite, interstellar vermin. They travel in swarms. Indigenous to Talon Four, a single parasite is harmless to larger life forms. However, they tend to travel in large groups, swarming over potential prey. Such swarms can be dangerous. Uh, so yeah, I did get that. Um, and that is it. Uh, research, small energy. I got these. You can you can scan pickups that enemies drop, I've been told. Plenishes 10 units of energy. Yay. So, there's all that stuff. Um, God, look at baby Samus. Um, so, if I can scan pickups, then yes, indeedy. Uh, whoop. There we go. A new creature's uh, entry has been downloaded to your logbook, and I want to scan that specifically. Missile expansion. Increases the number of missiles you can carry by five. So, we've got some new creatures, and everything, so that's cool. Is that just the same thing? Small tunnel burrowed into this wall. Can I leave markers on the map or anything? I imagine not, yes. Key legend. Yeah, no, it's not gonna... It's not gonna let me leave markers on the map. Unfortunately, uh, I always like that. But no, sadly. So uh, let's read our new thing in the logbook, though. Our new creature. Uh, where are you? There you are. Tangleweed. Plant life with basic sentience. Retracts into ground if threatened. Tangleweeds are only dangerous to small organisms. They are covered in tiny barbs designed to trap potential meals. Tangleweeds lack the strength to do anything more than hinder large life forms. Okay, so it probably just like slows me, if I had to guess. All I can think of upon seeing them is um, the things in, uh, I think it was below Subnautica Below Zero, specifically, where uh, it's like these things that shoot a vine at you and grab you and pull you down. Those things are terrifying. Whoop. Didn't mean to... Talonfern, non-toxic variety of Silo tal Talonesis, commonly found near water sources. And that reminds me as well, one more thing people did mention. Um, there are next pages on some of these things. Um, so I can scroll down here. But someone mentioned you can press A. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So you can, you can scroll down on these. Um... If there's, apparently if there's an A, if there's like an A prompt, you totally can. Oh, it's probably if that thing is flashing down there. Yeah, so that's, that's what lets me know that there's more to read. Um, I think I read all of this last time. Yeah, because it, it was clearly cut off, so, uh, um, I could tell that there was more to read there. But if we look here, see, there's nothing. Auto turret, there's nothing. Um... Here, there was nothing. Okay, and research. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we can scroll. I did scroll on the fall of Zebes there. Yeah. Yeah, I did read this. Okay, just wanted to be sure. Okay, so, cool. We have 3% of the logbook entry scans. I'm just trying to get used to all the systems and everything at play here. But... I love this music playing right now. This is amazing. All right, let's go. Let's uh, finish up a game I never finished. I don't even remember this planet. I vaguely remember the Parasite Queen fight, and that's basically it. Um, I remember nothing else. 
I don't even know which Metroid Prime game this is, but, um... Oh my god, I love all the effects on your visor. And the detail of it raining and the water showing up on my gun... Awesome. Uh, I do remember one specific fight I think I saw my friend do. But, um, I think that had ice missiles, so I don't even know if ice missiles are in this game. Um, that might be Metroid Prime 2. But, um, I remember that. Hello. I'm going to scan every single new thing when I see it. Okay, you're shooting me, though. Ow! Okay, that actually hurt a lot. Can you not? Um, die. Die. Okay, now let's scan you, since you're further away. Thank you. A new creature has been downloaded to your logbook. More tangleweed. And I've done the uh, small energy before. Alright, now I can kill you. We. Give me HP. Oh, I can, um... Wasn't that it? Was it ZLD? I thought it was something in... Oh, B. Wasn't that it? There was some way to, like, draw things in, but, um, I'm forgetting the, uh, the input for it. Damn it, and now they disappeared. Okay, um, I was hoping the game would, uh, relist tutorials somewhere so I could be reminded. I thought it was, like, a hold down A and Z, and it would, like, pull things in, but it wasn't working with those. Um... But, uh, one th cool thing I did find while trying to find information about this, I actually found the manual for this game online, and it has two bits of lore that I can read that are probably just in the manual. One about the Chozo and one about the Space Pirates, so why don't we go ahead and give this a read really quickly. Um, I'll put a timestamp on the screen if you just want to skip me reading this, but... The Chozo. Over millennia, this bird-like race of creatures made incredible technological and scientific leaps. Traveling at will through space, they built many marvels across the universe, technological wonders of unfathomable complexity, and cities matched in beauty. They share their knowledge freely with more primitive cultures and learn to respect and care for life in all its forms. Even as their society reached its technological peak, however, the Chozo felt their spirituality wane. Their culture was steeped in prophecy and lore, and they foresaw the decline of the Co Chozo coinciding with the rise of evil. Horrified by the increasing violence in the universe, they began to withdraw themselves into themselves, forgoing technology in favor of simplicity. Talon 4 was one of several refugees, or refuges. They built a colony bereft of technology. Interesting. Built of natural materials and wedded to the land and its creatures. So yeah, they basically were horrified by increasing violence in the universe, especially technology used for violence, and then they just kind of went for a more simplistic route, and Talon 4 was one of those refuges. The years passed, and in time, a great meteor crashed into Talon 4, sending a massive spume of matter into the atmosphere and impregnating the land ew with a cancerous element known as Phazon. This element immediately sank into the earth and water, poisoning life wherever it bloomed. Most plants and animals died, while others mutated into hideous forms. The Chozo called upon all their knowledge and technology to control the power of the Phazon, but their efforts were doomed to fail. All they could do was build a temple over a crater at the impact site, separate the Phazon core, and seal it away. Believing that someday a savior would return to the planet, the Chozo left for an unknown destination, leaving behind nothing but engraved accounts of their time on Talon IV. That is incredibly important! Samus, why are you just, like, looking around? Alright? You, you stopped that. That's incredibly important stuff. Not only did we get some context for Phazon, we got context for what exactly Talon IV is. So Phazon is what they were injecting into the parasites, and it says, yeah, a great meteor crash, sending a massive spume of matter into the atmosphere and impregnating the land with a cancerous element known as Phazon. Poisoning life and water wherever it bloomed, most animals and plants died while others mutated into hideous forms. They tried to control the Phazon. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Huh, and then yeah, they just sealed everything away here and left. Okay, well, obviously I do know a little bit about Chozo, because they're the statues that we always get our abilities from. But also, we know a lot about Chozo <laughs> from uh, Metroid Dread. Alright, so, the Space Pirates. The Space Pirates were interstellar nomads, technologically advanced in both space travel and weaponry. When they plundered the Metroid population that had been discovered by the Galactic Federation in SR-388, 
They recognized in them massive military and energy resource potential. They immediately invaded the nearby planet of Zebes, wiping out all life, including most of the indigenous Chozo, and building a massive network of research facilities beneath the planet's surface. Uh, it looks like the manual's cut off here. This is on Nintendo's website, by the way. I just found a PDF for the manual. Super cool that this is even available. So yeah, they are advanced in both space travel and weaponry, and they invaded Zebes, wiping out all life, including most of the Chozo, and building a massive network of research facilities. And Zebes was what we heard about in the uh, pirate thing. Deep below, deep below the surface of Zebes, the space pirates researched Metroids for many years. Even as a young girl orphaned by the raid on the neighboring planet K2L was growing up among the Chozo, Trained as a warrior and infused with Chozo blood, Samus Aran donned a Chozo-made power suit and cut a swath through the Space Pirate's operation, destroying everything in her path, including the gargantuan mainstays of the Space Pirate army, Ridley and Kraid. She eventually made it to one of their bases, destroyed it, destroyed all the Metroid she saw, and seemingly blew up the Mother Brain, so this is detailing the events of Metroid slash Zero Mission. Oh my god. I had... Okay, so I knew... <laughs> I knew that Samus had Chozo blood, but it's interesting to get the context for all of this and how it exactly it happened. Yeah. The young girl was orphaned by the raid and was growing up among the Chozo. She trained as a warrior and was infused with Chozo blood. Samus Aran donned a Chozo made power suit. Interesting, interesting. Even more interesting given the events of Metro Dread and what we know about that. <laughs> But the Space Pirates were far from finished. They immediately split their survivors into two main camps. One headed to Zebes to begin uh, rebuilding the Ravage facility and resuscitating Mother Brain, Ridley and Kraid. Second set out in search of a planet with powerful energy resources. They didn't search far before they discovered Talon IV, which was still emanating huge pulses of energy from the Phazon contained beneath the Chozo Temple. Entranced by the massive potential of the strange mutagen, they immediately moved in, retrofitting their laboratories, transporters, and life support systems into the Chozo ruins. As the space pirates mined the Phazon and experimented with it, they found the capacity to mutate was unlike anything they'd ever seen, and they promptly started combining it with indigenous life forms, so yeah, that's what they were doing there. They refined their operation, powering their machinery with thermal powered engines sunk in the molten depths of Talon IV. They drove deep mine shafts and mined more and more Phazon, shipping it to their two main labs in the Thendrana Drifts, where Sub Zero. <laughs> I know that name <laughs> because everybody talks about that song because it's amazing. Where Sub Zero temperatures made specimen containment safer. Research leapt forward by harnessing Phazon's power, they were able to create untold horrors that soon patrolled the dark caverns be below Talon Force Crust. Space Pirates also transported many species to their orbiting ship for zero-g Phazon experiments, unaware that Samus and Rand had finally tracked their ship to its low orbit. As they continued with their unnatural experiments, Samus sped toward Talon IV, preparing to wipe them out once and for all. That is important context that I just got from that manual. Oh my god. <laughs> remember when- remember back in the day when manuals held like crazy bits of lore and you would read it? on your way back, you know, from, like, the rental store or something, or, you know, GameStop, EB Games, Electronics Boutique, Funko Land, what have you. The Impact Crater. Okay, so this is where the Phazon landed. Oh my god, I'm so much more in tune with the story now after reading that. I'm so glad I stumbled upon that. <laughs> what a fantastic thing to stumble upon while trying to remember how to do something with the controls. <laughs> Hello. Um, scan. New pirate data entry's been downloaded to your logbook. Oh my god, I just remembered something. I just remembered something. Samus, why are you walking so slow? Oh, these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I gotta scan my ship. Uh, apparently if you scan your ship the first time you come, it doesn't count for a log entry, but once you actually land on the planet, it does. New research entry's been downloaded, yes. <laughs> uh, one comment mentioned that, uh, I believe that was Binary that mentioned that. Uh, so yeah, scanning it when you're on the frigate doesn't really do much, but uh, once you get down here, it does a little something extra. So, cool. Uh, now to find out which door it was in, I think it was this one, right? I think it was this one. Yep, yep, it was this one. 
God, Samus walks so slow through that stuff. Stupid little tangleweed. Alright, so now we got some more stuff to read. Apparently this is just the reading episode. We're gonna have a lot of reading. Alright, um... So, new pirate data, artifact sites. Space pirate encrypted data decoded. Field team reports are in on an age structure of alien design built on the surface of Talon IV. Studies show this structure projects a containment field. This field bars access to a prime source of energy within a deep crater. Science team believes the field is powered by a wave of strange Chozo artifacts. We have found some of these relics and studies on them have begun. As this field could hinder future energy production operations on Talon IV, we must dismantle it as soon as possible. If this means the destruction of the Chozo artifacts, it will be done. I'm going to be completely honest, it's really, really interesting learning more about the space pirates because I kind of always assumed they were... I, I don't know, they were like the goblins, I guess, of like the Metroid universe? But seeing that they have like research teams and like all of these different things, I kind of assumed they were just cannon fodder for Samus to kind of plow through, you know, being completely ignorant about the Metroid franchise, but no, they're a very, very massive group, very technologically advanced, Ridley is part of them. It, it's, God, it's so cool getting to know about all this stuff, only being like, you know, adjacent to all of the Metroid lore for so long, getting to learn about it now. Hopping from Dread to Prime is a very, very weird way to go through this series. <laughs> Uh, alright, so yeah, we read everything there. Um, I do have some new creatures, yes. Seedling, plant-based ground feeder. Dorsal spines can be injected in, can be ejected in self-defense. And yeah, so the reason, um, a lot of the enemies here are weird and dangerous is because the space pirates have been injecting them with Phazon to see what kind of mutations they can do. They're like Umbrella trying to create, like, bio-weapons by just injecting things. Gunship. Hunter-class gunship registered to Samus Aran. You can return to your ship to recharge energy, reload weapons, and save progress in the game. Oh, cool. Nice. Alright, alright, I think we're, uh, I think we're good now. So, we read that. We can go forward. Uh, this is probably a rocket door. Oh, but I, t I don't have rockets. <laughs> Give me power, give me super powerful Samus back, please. I always love the, uh, the trope in games where it's like, okay, it starts the game off and you're super, super powerful. And then it's like, okay, that's what, that's what you will be later. That was just the taste. Um, I love that sort of, that sort of thing, especially in like character action games. Um, but yeah, we had to do, we had to do the funny, the funny meme of, Oh no, Samus tripped and all of her upgrades fell down a grate. Except in this one, it was, oh, Samus's back slammed into a wall and it hurt her spinal cord and now she doesn't remember how to rock it. Well, the, the reality is she remembers how to rock it, but the, the Varya suit was damaged, so it's just funny. Ah, <sighs> I, I told my friend that's really, really in the Metro that I'm playing this and he was like, ooh, so. Hello. You're angry with me. My visor goes red. New creature's been downloaded. Alright, well, um, I'm gonna learn about everything before, uh, I interact with it, because that's the smart thing to do, so. I do love this kind of researching everything system that they have in this game. It's such a cool idea, and it really... It really just makes the game that much cooler. It reminds me of Subnautica. Well, rather... Subnautica probably used a bit of this as inspiration. Blast cap. Volatile chemicals within this weed's toxic fungal cap may explode if agitated. The poisonous flesh of the blast cap helps keep it from being eaten. It also detonates its fungal cap when it slices even slight contact. Okay, it's an explosive mushroom. Gotcha. There we go. Okay. Okay, so let's see if I can... It's not pulling you in. It's not that. It's not Z and B. Is it ZL and A? ZL and B? I can't remember what the what the pull like absorb things in it mentioned uh, control was. People will let me know. I'm sure. Um, I thought it was like fire your gun and press like A or B, but it seems like it's not. 
At least it's not working for me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong with it. But, uh, yeah, this is why I like to be able to review tutorials, because I'm a dummy and we'll come back to the game a day later and be like, How did I do that again? Incoming. What? Foreign technology present. Active transport located. Oh. Uh-huh. Transport to Chozo Ruins West. Active transport located. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, there was a, an option someone mentioned I should turn on as well. Um, I think it's in sound? Uh, disables the narration that was added for the original European and Japanese versions. Uh, yeah, let's put this on. The narr narration is fully enabled. This matches the original Japanese version of Metroid Prime. Yeah, someone mentioned turning that on. Subtitles will not be shown during cinematics. Turn subtitles on, yeah. Um, I'm so used to subtitles just always being on. Sorry, the first episode always has a billion comments that I need to catch up on, um, especially when I'm bumbling around in the game that people know a lot about and I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so, <sighs> all right, all right, let's go, let's go. I'm still just ecstatic that I found uh, that that the uh, manual online. That's so cool. So wait, um. Can't seem to get in there. I think the game gave me that waypoint showing me where the transport is because it's like, hey, idiot, go over there. Stop exploring here because uh, you're just going to run into things you can't do anything with over there. So I think we just need to get up there. I went the wrong direction twice until the game was like, okay, maybe we should maybe we should help out the, the wee baby. Oh... Uh-uh. No. Okay. Hi. Oh my god. Please, please stop while I scan you. Oh, they look like, um, what are those things called? Uh, the little things from Pikmin. The things that burrow up from the ground. Um, there's the, there's the female ones and the male ones, and the male ones are aggressive. I don't know why I can't think of their name right now. I almost said Swooping Snitch Bug, but that would not be correct. Okay, hello. Bye-bye. Uh, someone also mentioned if I lock onto something and move around the wall, missiles are homing. So I can use that to my advantage. Which is nice. Hello. Methodology. Saturnine. Or Saturnine. Saturnine. Small iridescent mushroom typically grows in dark, dark regions. I like mushrooms. Too bad my body tries to kill me if I eat them. <clears throat> How unfortunate. Uh, alright, so let's let's read about those. I should have done that before I murdered them, but... Uh, beetle. Burrowing insect with a resilient carapace. Extremely aggressive. The insect's massive mouth enables it to tunnel through solid rock at high speeds. Above ground, beetles can cover short distances rapidly. They attack anything that, mo that moves near their lair. Yeah, that's another thing this reminds me of, just Pikmin. I just like the coming to a strange alien planet and having to identify all the flora and fauna aesthetic. It's super, super cool. I will always love it any time it is in a video game. It's so cool. New creature. Uh, anything else? I don't see anything. Okay. Whoop, never mind. I see things. New creature. Okay, and what is that? Stone surface... The stone surface this lichen grows on appears too smooth to be natural. Okay, so yeah, this is some of the Chozo made stuff. These large branches have been forcibly intertwined, forming what look like to be a bridge structure. Forcibly intertwined. Can the Chozo, like, control nature? <laughs> Wild, if so. Look at that, we're already almost 10% of the way through the logbook entries. A zoomer! Anchors itself to walls and other surfaces, avoid contact with spikes. A basic nerve center located directly above the zoomer's mandibles detects nutrients. Sharp spines protect it from casual predators, but the lack of a reinforced carapace makes the zoomer vulnerable to any indirect attacks. Okay. That looks good. Um, parasite auditor at zoomer. So, sap sack. Chemical reaction within sac produces violent explosion when agitated. Because of its irresistible odor and sweet nectar, the sap sac was nearly eaten out of existence. The evolution of an explosive chemical sac saved it. Now only brave or ingenious creatures care to devour it. 
Wow. Imagine being like, oh man, predators are eating me. What am I going to evolve to take care of this? You just decide to explode. Absolutely wild. Yep, it certainly does explode. Okay, I can't seem to hurt you? Hmm. Oh my god, yeah, I'm trying to do a charge beam and I... I don't even have my charge beam. My god, oh hi. Everything wants to murder me. Yeah, I don't even have my charge beam. I'm really baby Samus. I have nothing. Go away. Oh, there's so many of these things. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even hold down the button to, like, spray. I gotta kind of feather my shot here. Ooh, hello. We research. Gimme. Alright, what is that? That is a, uh... It's a pickup, so that would be in research. Large energy. Replenishes 20 units of energy. Cool. Alrighty, so I guess we're we're jumping up. Oh, do you gotta shoot him in the face? Hello. Or not? I was shooting at one and nothing was happening. Huh. No, I'm seemingly able to kill them now. It's I think it's because it was protracting its spikes. Wait, are you a different one? You are. Oh, you're you're a different one. Yeah, you're red. Weird. Uh, tree appears to be healthy. Ring dating approximate, approximates age at over 200 years. So that narration I turned on, when is, uh, when is that gonna come in? I did, I did actually turn it on, right? Like, it, it actually went through. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's on. And the subtitles. Just wanted to be sure. Um, I do want to look at that new logbook entry, though. A gamer. Wall crawling mollusk with retractable spikes. The gamer is an evolutionary offshoot of the Zoomer family. When threatened, it extends lethal spikes and retracts its head deep into its armored carapace. So can I even kill this thing? I tried to shoot it and uh nothing happens. So do I shoot it so that well I I, I I was gonna say do I shoot it so I can get by, but I tried pressing A instead of B to jump. And, uh, that was a problem. So I might not be able to actually harm this thing. Which, you know, is fine. That's one of the things I like about Subnautica. Um, the game does specifically push you to not harm the indigenous creatures. Even the ones that are currently trying to devour the absolute hell out of you. That's why you get no weapons or anything. Um, you just get ways to, you know, kind of slow them down or, uh, get past them. Of course, you know, you, you can't just stab a reaper to death, but... Oh, hello, Mandragora. How are you? Um, are you firing something at me? I think you might be. Bloodflower. That's a great name. Able to eject toxic spores. Toxins are poisonous even to the bloodflower itself. That's weird. Three mouth nodules protrude from the stalk beneath the flower, each with a rudimentary brain cluster and the ability to spew toxic fumes at anything within a five meter radius. The spores ejected from the stigma at the center of the flower are sufficient to kill this creature if they explode in its vicinity. Huh. Okay. So I can just kind of fire at the thing. Okay. Yeah, if I fire... if I hit the thing close enough to you, you'll just die. Okay. Interesting, interesting. These are all things uh, I've examined before. Let me just do a quick look around here. Okay, this is one of the doors. New research entry's been downloaded into your logbook. Yeah, 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 that was another thing that was mentioned. Uh, doors. Um, specifically, if they're ones I need to to open or whatever, I uh, can do that. I can scan them, and it'll tell me, hey, well, this is probably what this requires. So it's probably uh, missiles, right? Research. Uh, blast shield. There's a blast shield in the door blocking access. Analysis indicates that the blast shield is invulnerable to beam weapons. Explosive weapons may damage it. Yes. Okay. So now we just go the Z-Soleil. 
Good. Nothing to scan over here. Doesn't appear to be. Alright. Cool. Wow, it's already been 35 minutes. Feels like no time has passed at all. Jeez. I mean, I did cut out a little bit while I was uh, trying to figure out how to do the pull things in thing in Maduhiki, but... Alright, we've made it to an active transporter. This is good. Um, I can probably examine this. I need to examine it. Okay, we're good. Access to Chozo Ruins West granted. Please step into the hologram. Chozo Ruins West. Let's go get ourselves a power from a Chozo statue. <clears throat> very, very excited. God, look at baby Samus. We go. All right. Yep, that's a beak. That's a beak, all right. That's some chozo. I think I hear one of my cats scratching something behind me. You stop that. Incoming scan data. Abnormal seismic activity detected. Seismic disturbance at ruin site. Um. Hive totem. Yeah, that's what I don't want to hear. Seismic activity. Is it is it like the queen of these things burrowing under the ground? Or I'm imagining that's what it is. It mentioned these things are aggressive with anything that gets near their hive. So we might be getting ready to go defeat a beetle queen. Ooh. Ooh, what is Ooh, I saw that. The little markings on the wall there. I look like that could have been a Chozo. I think that's a missile expansion up there. Alrighty. Yeah, this. Is that a Chozo? Maybe. I thought I saw one that had, like, wings. Hmm. Oh, hi. Welcome to my personal space. It'll be nice once I have more abilities. Okay, bye-bye, and bye-bye. There we are. It bothers me so much that my max HP is 99. <laughs> I'm like, no, be a hundred! Object rests at the top of a very smooth, uh, yeah, that's, uh, magnet ball is what I need for that. And maybe, like, the little spring jump thing. New creature. And what is that? Grapple. This grapple point is too far away to use. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. The etching resembles a bird-like creature. Okay, so yeah, it's a Chozo. Hello? Passageway to shrine, and there's another one of those doors. Okay, so we got a new thing added to the logbook. Um, it was creature. Seedling beetle war wasp. Primary war wasp dwelling. Only vulnerable to heaven heavy weaponry. War wasps build their homes over existing crevices using whatever materials are close at hand. They carry building fragments back to the construction site with their forelegs and glue them into place with adhesives secreted from their abdomens. Building fragments. Interesting. Okay. Well then. Okay, so we can't get through there right now. I need rockets. I require rockets. Yeah. And this looks like, I don't know, like an, a Chozo egg or something? I don't know. Okay, that's clearly like a life gauge upgrade. Hello. Ledge object uh, rests on, cannot be reached from this room. Oh, well, that's handy to know. Thank you. So I don't have to worry about that. Okay, and there's a door down there, but what if I go up here? What do we got for me? Uh, this leads me to the war wasps, which uh, I don't think I want to get near right now. Because it said only uh, heavy, heavy weaponry will take that out, so. Let's continue down this way. Oh, great. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What are you? What are you? 
Recording to a new creature's entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Okay, this is going to be an incredibly weird pull, but all I can think of upon seeing these things is uh, Sin's scales from uh, Final Fantasy X. The little scales that it throws out that turn into little critters that you got to fight. Interesting. I imagine you're going to hurt me if I get close to you, so I'm sorry, you have to die. Okay, so creature... Well, I'm getting a lot of these things. Scarab. Exploding parasites that embed their bodies into solid rock. Scarabs think nothing of sacrificing themselves for the safety of their swarm. When a hostile life form is sighted, they block its progress by embedding themselves in floors and walls. Embedded scarabs violently self-destruct when threatened. God, we're getting close to 20% through the logbook already. That's pretty nuts. Hi. More to examine. New creature has been added. A, a giant laser eyeball. Yes. Beautiful. What are the what are the ones in Zelda called? Bemos? Uh let's see. Um Aeon. Ion. Probably Ion. <clears throat> Mobile organisms entirely composed of ocular tissue, capable of launching sustained energy beams when active. The Ion is sensitive to light and will close shut if a bright flash ignites nearby. Okay, well, yeah, the laser is considered a bright flash. Good to know. You stay like that. Okay. I can't lock onto them, I can't help but notice. So I do have to, like, kind of free aim this. Which I'm aiming on the controller, which I am awful at. Unfortunate. We need, we need the, uh, Super Nintendo mouse. That's what we need. I think that was the one that had it, because it came with Mario Paint or whatever. What is this? Why are you so shiny? New Chozo lore entry has been added. Okay, well that's important. There's a missile fragment. High channel set into the wall. Okay, that looks like something we need to we need to morph ball. Usually high concentrations of poison identified in tree leaves. And an ornate wall hanging with a highly reflective surface. It does not appear important. Okay, high, yeah, bits of poison. So that's 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 from phase on, I'm imagining. Um, let's scan these really quickly. Structural integrity of metal is stable, no flaws detected. Structural weakness detected in sandstone block. So, oh, I probably have to break it with, yeah, rockets. Um, I, I got Chozo lore though. Harmonization. Wait, did I miss a Chozo lore? Oh no! Where was the Chozo lore? Cause this is- this is in the second slot. Well, I guess they don't technically go in order. So maybe I haven't missed that one? Many long- Chozo script translated. Many long years have passed since we Chozo first took root in this land. The passage of time has always been a source of fascination to us. It is the belief of many Chozo sages that the truths of the universe hide within the tumbling currents of time's flow. Even as we search for answers there, however, we find illumination in other, unexpected places. We know not how the ability has come to us, but recently many Chozo have begun to sense things beyond the realm of ordinary perception. Strange sights and inexplicable sensations flood our minds, filling us with visions. We take this growing ability to be a sign of our burgeoning harmonization with the infinite. Perhaps finally the universe's secrets are becoming known to us. You're becoming enlightened. You're basically becoming space bodhisattva. Yeah. You're becoming so in tune with nature that the world is starting to harmonize with you. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, so the Chozo were so technologically advanced, but they hated what weaponry and stuff did. So they were just like, no, we're just going to come over here and become one with nature and live a life of simplicity. Which, you know, very fair. Very, very fair. Oh, God. No. Um, let me examine you, though. You tried. There we go. So, that's a war wasp. Hello. Alrighty. Um, let's, uh... I keep getting my map and that mixed up. So, war wasp. Here we go. Airborne insect equipped with a venomous stinger capable of shearing steel. War Wasp rarely strays far from its hive unless it's pursuing an immediate threat. It's a it attacks with no regard for its own survival. 
Dive bombing its enemy with stinger extended. Fast working toxins work from the stinger. Work from the stinger can incapacitate most small organisms. God, these kinds of games must be so cool for someone that's like into zoology and things like that. Or even people that are into like various different types of uh what's the, what would be the fungi one? Um mycology? Um and plants would be I don't know the ology version of it, but botany. It would be so cool to play a game like this into either into any of those things. I actually played a game that had um, stuff about mushrooms, and I'm pretty sure it was Mycology, the Mycology Journal. It was a little game where you played as a mushroom. Uh huh. Hi. Okay, we got more. Oh god. We got more war wasps. This is what we got. I hear another one. There it is. Okay, there's more. Okay, we can, like, kind of knock out the nests so we don't have to deal with them anymore. Let's just make sure there's... Okay, there's a blast door down there. What is that? Stress point present in Brimstone Wall. Okay, so I can probably break that open. What is this? Toxicity levels of this water are very high. Contact with contaminated liquid extremely hazardous. Okay, good to know. Alright, so there's a blast door down there, but that door is open. I can also probably break that wall open to get something nice. I really need my new Trozo ability. Uh-oh. Was that a new enemy? Or is that just a regular war wasp? That was a new enemy. Okay. Well then. Uh, logbook. A uh, new creature. So, War Wasp Hive Plasmite? Here we go. Small insect capable of storing and releasing thermal energy. Plasmites are attracted to sources of heat, thriving on the energy present there. They emit light when hunting and will expel small bursts of thermal energy when threatened. Cool. Oh god, okay. Takes more than one. Okay. You go, oh God. I really don't like that noise. Here we get here. We are good, it appears. Warning. Uh oh. What's that warning? Is that like a heat level or toxicity? What is that? What are we dealing with there? What's that little meter? I think that manual actually mentioned what uh what this meter is. Let me look. Um, let's see, because it shows your HUD. Targeting threat assessment. This gauge warns Samus of nearby environmental dangers. It rises in accordance with the proximity of threat. When the threat is extremely near, the word warning will appear. If Samus is actually actively being injured by the hazard, the word danger will appear. Okay, so it's just a threat assessment meter. I was like, are we, is that like a Geiger counter? What is that? Am I dealing with radiation? But no. Hello. Out of scanning range, what is this? Drainage possesses traces of high level toxins. Yeah, we're gonna be seeing a lot of toxins. Elevated bridge looks worn but functional. I mean, the Phazon really, really screwed this place up, so. Yeah. Okay, we got more Chozo iconography. What's happening? Hi? Okay, 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 we're fighting. Um, are these new? They're red. New creature entry, yep. Okay. Oh god. We, nice HP. Nice. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, let's, let's examine. We just learned something. What are these? What kind of war wasp are these? Ram war wasp. Airborne predator circles its prey and then strikes. The war wasps are the only species on Talon 4 to evolve a true hive mind. Nesting in damp, dark places, ram war wasps emerge in small groups when threatened and circle their enemy at high speeds, disorienting it. Striking from all sides is a single intelligence. They can fell huge organisms. Like me, I'm huge to them. 
No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Uh huh. Nope. Nope. None of that. None of that, please. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. This is the third one. No, 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 no. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. Oh. Please die. Please die. Uh. Uh uh. uh warning. Okay. Oh my god, there's. Duh. Please. Please. Yes, I know. I, I know I'm threatened right now. Danger meter. Believe me. <laughs> there's a billion wasps flying around me that are the size of, like, my head. I understand. <laughs> The threat's all around me. It's probably mostly talking about the water, not the wasps themselves. Since it's a environmental threat assessment thing. Am I good? Can I have rockets now, please? Huh. Huh. That's just a rocket upgrade. Like, I don't even have rockets yet. I don't even have rockets yet. Or is this actually going to be my rockets? Like, do I actually get rockets from this? Okay, see, I thought that was just an expansion. Okay. <laughs> I'm so used to getting upgrades from Chozo statues that I was like, oh, that's just a rocket expansion kit. That's not actually the launcher, but no, that's totally the launcher. Press R to fire, press Z, R, plus A to switch back to beams. Um, missiles can destroy blast shields on doors. Additional data downloaded to inventory screen. Press minus to access it. New extras unlocked. Um, secondary items. Missile launcher. Missile launcher adds ballistic weapon capability to the arm cannon. Press R to fire the missile launcher. Press ZR plus A to return to beam mode. Samus's notes. Missiles fired with a lock-on will seek their targets. Uh, missiles can destroy objects made from radion or brimstone. There are charge combo enhancements scattered throughout the environment. They use the missile launcher and the charge beam in tandem to fire more effective blasts. Each missile expansion found will increase the number of missiles that it's possible to carry by five. Okay. Well, I immediately feel the need to walk back to the previous room and uh, grab that stuff. Also, the ground has now been drained. Is there anything to scan over here? I wanted to kind of scan like the like weird little Chozo technology that we were dealing with there. You. Ah, uh, maybe I should have examined the boss in the boss fight. Damn it, I was so focused on examining all the other things that I might have missed examining the boss itself. If that thing was examinable. I mean, it was Chozo like tech, so I'm kind of assuming it was. Damn, I hope I didn't miss that. I've been fairly good about examining things up to now. Okay, so... Yeah, those things are going in here. Yeah, how did I pull things in? I know I've done it before. Do I... I didn't lose that ability, right? I'm pressing, like, everything here right now. But nothing. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Um... R. Here we go. Bum, bum, bum. Um. Okay. Jump. And jump. Owie. Missile expansion acquired. My missile capacity has been increased by five. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. And there's a morph ball entrance. Um. Yes. Hello? What is this? Map? You've downloaded the map for this area. Press uh, plus to access the map. When you're finished, press plus again. Okay, so... Ooh, let's zoom out of that. There we go. Okay, this area big. Area big. Um, so there's a room back there I can access, but I can also continue that way. Um, hmm. Let's, uh... Let's go back a room really quickly. Um, just to go see what that one thing in there is. Uh, just gotta go back a little bit. God, I 
I really hope I didn't miss examining, like, the actual, like, little Chozo statue boss. That would mean I'm, uh, currently 0 for 2 on, um... Die, please. It means I'm currently 0 for 2 on examining the bosses. That's a lot of missiles. That's a whole lot of missiles. How did I... How did I pull those stupid things in? Like I said, comments comments will let me know. Alright, so... Up here is where I want to go. I obviously want that missile expansion, but I can't get it right now. Also, I can destroy that. There we go. It's gone. Do those stay gone so I don't have to deal with the wasp each time I walk in here now? There we go. What are you? Teleporter? Oh, save point. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. Game has been saved. Energy fully replenished. Yay! Alright, well, that's probably as good as point as any to end off for this episode. Alrighty, episode two down. We made a pretty good amount of progress, got a new upgrade and everything, so... Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.